how to verify bulk emails for free free email validation for email marketing hello there fam it's your boy investor black and i welcome you back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can verify your bulk emails completely for free using my free email validation method so if you are out there and you are an affiliate marketer or a freelancer that has a very large email list that you just finished scraping from search engines or for or you just got the email list from somewhere you need to actually verify that email list to remove um, fake emails and emails that actually don't exist the reason why you want to do that is because if you don't do that and you go ahead to send or blast your bulk email to those email addresses you're going to end up uh, ruining the reputation of your email provider and that will result in your emails ending up in the spam folder of your recipients so you have to first of all verify the emails that's going to save you a long run of troubles okay so verifying the email is something that is a bit service actually and it is very hard for people to do it but in this video i'm going to show you how you can verify unlimited bulk emails for free okay unlimited bulk emails for free and you're going to be doing it using my free email validation method for email marketing so without wasting your time let's delve right into it so what are the steps So the first thing you need to do is to download the email scraping tool and you have to install it in a virtual environment. Now the reason why you have to install it in a virtual environment is because it is a cracked software and if you install it on your main device, you will end up compromising your device. So I highly recommend you get the virtual environment. An example of a virtual environment is VMware Workstation or Oracle VM. Okay, VM stands for virtual machine. A virtual machine helps you to install different operating system on your computer. So you can be running Windows, but you can install li um, Linux. You can install Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 8 in your virtual environment for testing purposes. So as you can see right here, I have my own virtual environment, and as you can see, I'm running on other Windows. This is a total totally different windows from my windows if you look at the bottom you're gonna see my windows menu my main windows menu you're gonna see my virtual environment windows menu okay as you can see this is my virtual environment windows menu there are two different windows there are two search bars okay we have my cortana here and we have my search bar here okay we have two dates as you can see two notification so i was able to do this using vmware workstation this is actually a paid one but you can use oracle vm as well so the reason i did this is because i want to actually be able to install some crack softwares without compromising my pc okay because these people might have some bloatwares and some malwares that will end up damaging your system in the long run so you don't want to do that and also even when you install it in your virtual device you don't want to install or have any sensitive information in that virtual device make sure everything you do here is something that is not sensitive okay so having said that the tool you're gonna be using is called let's extract okay let's extract email studio so i'm gonna go back to my list and i'm gonna show you what you need to do so after you must have installed less extract so to install less extract is very simple after you must have gotten your virtual environment you need to install less extract all you have to do is visit investorblack.com forward slash let's extract it's going to take you to the download page so let me copy it and show you what i mean so once you once you paste it here it's going to take you to the download page so let's allow the download page to load up so i'll give you an instruction on how you can actually download it so once you're here you're gonna see premium download and free download click on premium um click on free download once you click on it it's gonna open a new tab don't follow what is in that new tab go back click on it again make sure that everything you're doing is in that same page okay any other tab that is open is a virus okay so close the other tab and come back and wait for the 26 seconds um the countdown okay as you can see the name is here let's extract okay no matter how many tabs open don't follow the new tabs make sure that everything you're doing is in this same tab okay so as you can see this file is going for 199.5 mb okay so we have like nine seconds left so i'm gonna allow it to count down then i'm gonna verify that i am not a robot okay so i'm gonna click i'm not a robot even when you try clicking it and it opens a new tab don't worry just go back and click on it again it's gonna verify you click on create download link and it's gonna take you to a new page and your download link is gonna be preparing as you can see so as you can see now this is my download link i'm gonna right click on it and i'm gonna 
I'm going to go back. No matter how many times it opens a new tab, don't follow the new tab. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to click on copy. I'm going to close the new tab. As you can see, these are all things I don't want to open. Fake things. Then I'm going to go to my downloader. So um, I, no I normally use XDM. Okay, so I've copied it. I'll click on the plus sign and it's going to automatically paste it. I'm going to click on download. As you can see, it has started downloading, but I already have it. So I won't continue to download it. I'm just trying to show you how to download it. So I'm going to pause this because I already have it installed in my device. So that's how to get your um, let's um, extract software. Okay, and make sure you install it in your virtual device. As you can see, I've already installed mine. So I'm going to open it now. Then I'm going to go back and check the next step. Okay, forgive me for that sound. So now I'm gonna now um go to the next thing we need to do, which is to actually import your existing email list or script a new list. Okay, so now we have our list extract and I've opened it. So now we need to import an existing email list or script a new list. I'm not gonna script a new list in this video because I made a video on how to do that. The video is gonna be popping at the top right corner of your screen. You can go check it out. I'm gonna import my already existing email list. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my virtual environment again i'm gonna click on yes for the less extract and it's gonna open up um, some things sorry about that sound i think i'll have to disable the sound so i'm gonna just disable the audio very annoying okay yeah so once you do that it's gonna open up your browser and it's gonna take you to a website called dr fafa close down your browser close your browser as you can see i'm gonna go back to my home page it's gonna open up your browser close your browser then just wait for this yellow just wait for the file to come up okay the let's extract so i'm gonna give it time to come up i'm gonna pause this video right now and wait for it to come up once it comes up okay this is it as you can see let's extract 2023 um ultimate business this is the crack version by dr fafa so this guy i don't trust him but he had he his softwares are really really good so that's why you have to run it in a virtual environment i can't stress it enough so now as you can see this is my software that i used to extract and validate okay so now that you're here the next thing you need to do is to click on extract email addresses from files and folders okay not we are not scraping from the search engine today we are extracting from files and folders okay i'm going to click on extract then i'm going to click on browse then i'm going to go to desktop then i'm going to search for my latest um email list okay so i'm gonna say um let's see i have software email list i have script weight loss leads okay so i'm gonna do this script weight loss list because it's a long it's a large list just to show you how effective this is so i'm gonna click on okay for it to import so as you can see it has started importing it if you watch closely you're gonna see 26 percent complete at this side 52 percent complete if i go to my log we're gonna see that it is getting emails and it has gotten about 3614 email addresses okay so you can see it is done okay okay so we have 3841 results okay 3841 results if i go to my log we have 3841 results if i go to my results you're gonna see all the emails that i just imported right now okay now we have the emails but we want to verify it and remove the ones that are fake the ones that will um, ruin our reputation okay to do that is very very easy all you have to do is click on this button that says email verify so i'm going to click on email verify then make sure that email syntax is checked fake email is checked disposable email um course words blacklist mail server exists and that's all okay so the next thing you need to do is to click on skip successfully verified emails then start verifier okay so on that display that is saying mail from just put any random email but don't put your own email address okay put any random email you can put yam at gmail.com whatever just put any random email then click start verifier okay now once you click start verifier it's going to start verifying and as you can see it's verifying if you come down to the bottom here you're going to see 3841 emails it has processed processed 47 already and in the queue we have 3766 this is going to take a very long time so i'm going to leave this to run for a while once it's finished i'm going to re return and we're going to continue the video so i'm going to pause this video right now guys okay fam so as you can see it has finished um 
processing. So the results found were um, 3841. It put the processed um, 3841 as well. Then it has verified only 3173. Okay, so out of 3841, we have just 3173 verified emails. If you scroll, you're going to be seeing some, some red. Okay, as you can see, you're going to be seeing some red. You're going to be seeing a lot of red. As you can see, you'll be seeing a lot of red as well. Gonna be seeing some new MX record, some are fake as well. So that's how to go about it. So what you need to do is to click on stop searching because it has already finished. As you can see, nothing is in the queue anymore. Click on stop searching, then you go and check your email. Um no, sorry about that. Then you check your results. You're gonna see that some are green and some are red. So that takes us to our next step. So we've verified our emails, takes us to the next step. So what do we do next? We need to import um okay, no, that's we need to verify so after verifying which we've done now we need to delete bad email addresses okay so to delete the bad email addresses is very very easy all you have to do is come here and click on results okay then remove okay no under email verifier not under results under email verifier click on remove invalid emails remove unverified emails so i'm going to click on remove invalid emails first okay so this on time is processing so as you can see 668 items removed so there's nothing like red anymore as you can see everything is now complete okay so we have our complete set of good email addresses in our results so what do you do next after you must have verified your email all you have to do is save it okay you can click on save to file you can click on click on razor save Okay, click on file, save or export results. You can export to CSV here or text. Okay, you can also copy to clipboard. So I'm gonna click on export to CSV. Then I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna give it the name it it had before, which was um my what's it called? Weight loss niche. Yeah. Weight loss niche list verified. Okay. So I'm going to click on OK, then this file was successfully saved. So if I double click on this weight loss verified, it should open. Let me use notepad to see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, if I save this as CSV, save as CSV, okay, all files dot CSV, okay. So I'm save and close this. So I'm gonna go back to my desktop. You can see weight loss list verified. I click on it again. So just in case it comes or comes out like this, all you have to do is open it in Notepad and save it back as CSV. So this is it right here. So I noticed something. This is this was my old list, the one that didn't have names. Okay, this was the one that didn't have names. So I already showed how you can actually get the names from your list. Okay, I already showed how you can get the names from your for your list. So that is basically how. How to scrape your emails if you want to know how to get to add names to email because once you scrape your emails from the internet it will not have names if you want to know how to add names to these emails i made a video on that and that video is what is going to be popping up at the top right corner of your screen have a nice day and i love you guys bye